What is up everybody and welcome to another edition of Collection Commentary. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Wii Knives 606 CFA. The CF, of course, standing for carbon fiber on the presentation side of the knife. Um, there are 606 options available that just have the single letter denomination and no carbon fiber, um, in which case you would just have the smooth frame that you see on the lock side also on the presentation side. But uh, these carbon fiber scales were a big part of what interested me in the knife. Um, and so let's just go ahead and jump right into the features and flaws on this one. Real quick, something that I'm going to edit into this video, I forgot to do the size comparison. I picked up a paramilitary two for you guys uh, so that we can see the size comparison between PM2s and my other knives. Um, and because this was the first one that uh, I actually had the PM2 around for, I completely forgot. So this is just gonna get popped right into the video wherever I find a spot for it, but this is the size comparison with the PM2. Uh, the first thing is, is that I kind of dislike asymmetry. So the fact that this knife has the carbon fiber on this side, but not on this side, um, kind of, just like irks me a little bit. I totally understand why they don't have the carbon fiber on this side. Um, and I guess I fully agree with sort of the design choices made here. Um, I'm just not personally a big fan of asymmetry. Um, so that's definitely something that I noticed very quickly. Now I will say the proprietary screws on the Wii knives don't really bother me. Um, you know, this is I've handled five different Wii knives. You know, I have another one right here. Um, I I understand that it makes disassembly sometimes impossible and sometimes just annoying and whatever. Um, you know, they do provide the pivot tool, but it's not the best for actually catching the proprietary screws. So if you wanna take the knife apart and maintain it, um, I can definitely see that being an issue. But it typically doesn't bother me in the sense that I like Wii knives so much that I don't let that keep me from buying their knives. But what's different about this one in particular is that the proprietary screws that they use here to hold in the inlays, um, I'm going to try to show you here, they're, uh, they're not flush. So I think you can kind of see there, if I get nice and close, that they stick up uh, well past the carbon fiber inlay and they're star shaped so they're pointy and that just means that anytime you rub your hand or your finger over the screws you feel them and they just basically chew away at your thumb um, so that sucks uh, I really don't appreciate the fact that they didn't really think that through that they didn't have um, the ability to sink the screws in deep enough to do away with that. Um, you can actually see, see, we're having this problem where I don't have a light again. Um, as I had mentioned in another one of my videos, if you guys have any ideas for flashlights um, that are like good to have around and that maybe have like titanium construction, um, please let me know in the comments what, uh, what you recommend because I need a flashlight. I have a lot of trouble showing you guys the internal bits of a knife, um, and I don't have my other phone nearby, but you can see uh, on the inside of the frame, I'll just try to show you anyway. Um, actually, hang on. I do have this giant light here, so I'm gonna try to show you. So you can see right there, the screw. Um, and so like, they don't even have room in there for, you know, there to continue to be frame behind the screw. The screw comes all the way flush with the inside of the frame. So you can tell that they were really, oh, geez. Let me just put that anywhere. Um, you can tell that they were really uh, struggling with, or, or really pushing their luck with um, the, the screw length. And so that uh, is something that I wish they had managed to take care of in a better way because this is just a major issue with the knife. Sorry for dropping it there. That was very loud and chaotic. Um, I don't usually just throw knives around like that. But uh, yeah, this is a huge bummer for me. So I recommend that if you're going to go with a Wii 606, but that you, um, or if you're going to go with the knife, that you don't buy the carbon fiber inlay one because this is just a, a major downer in terms of the way the, the knife feels in your hand. 
Of course, the one down here is a little bit more flush. Um, although I'm just now noticing, looking at it, that this proprietary screw down here is different than these. It's less sharp and it's less defined. I wonder if that's uh, on purpose or if this just didn't get stamped out or milled out the way it was supposed to. Um, I don't really know how they make their screws. But anyway, um, that's something that I noticed. Now, I will say uh, that for milled titanium, this clip is like the best clip I've ever used. Uh, you can get this in and out of the pocket with one hand without any issues. It doesn't push your pants down. Um, it ramps right over. There's plenty of space inside. Um, and then it has a fair bit of tension um, that makes it really easy to get in and out of the pocket. So I'm actually super stoked about this pocket clip. Um, I have a lot of trouble with a lot of milled pocket clips to wear you know, you, you have to hold your pocket with one hand and put it in with the other, which is fine. I mean, that's like a lot of knives have that, and um, it's it's not really an issue. But this one in particular is uh, really stellar, and so I definitely appreciate this pocket clip a lot. Um, as far as, like, deployment and closing, you know, this knife has the classic Wii action. It's going to be the same ceramic bearings that you have on any other Wii knife. And, you know, deployment's fantastic. Uh, you can push button like I am right now, or you can light switch by just dragging your finger down the length of the spine, and you're gonna get deployment, even if you're vertical. Uh, as long as you break that detent, for the most part, you're gonna get deployment. So that's pretty great. Um, and then of course it will drop closed with a bit of a shake it's very smooth. So that's the classic Wii action. I've talked about this in my other Wii Knife uh, videos. Um, the the action on these is fantastic for the price point, and there's just really there's really no arguing against it. Um, another thing that I like is the fluted blade. Uh, if you can see there, probably can't show you. Maybe if I go like this, um, you can see that there is a milled flute in the blade, um, which I think is nice. It's just a neat little touch. Uh, and then also on the blade, you can see that this has the same crazy edge as the 601 that I um, had on loan earlier. And so in that video, you know, I'd said that it was something that I thought was really cool that I brought that brought uniqueness to the knife. And it, it wasn't that these knives are the only knives with this um, <clears throat> style of, of cutting edge because that's simply not true. There's plenty of other knives that have done that in the past. Um, but I did think that they were uh, cool for Wii to offer um, on a knife at this price point and and it was just something a little bit different since they have so many knives in their lineup to, to bring a little bit of difference. But somebody brought up a point to me, which I don't usually um, run into this because I don't do a lot of sharpening of my knives. I move through knives pretty quickly. I don't use them too much. Um, and typically a factory edge is more than enough for my purposes. Um, and so I, I do wonder how one would go about sharpening this. You know, um, I'm sure that there are people who do sharpening that look at this and go, you know, I, oh, I could handle that. But for the average person that's just going to freehand or like use um, one of the sharpening systems, like a sharp maker or something like that, this is probably not going to work out well for you. So if you plan on using the knife a, a ton and, and getting it sharpened, um, that might be something to consider that you should be maybe a little bit worried about, honestly. Um, moving on, I will say that I find this lanyard hole pretty annoying. Um, you know, if you look at like the 612, for example, it's like a normal hole and it kind of matches the overall shape and construction of the knife. And on the 606, it doesn't really match anything, right? Like these are mostly rounded angles. I mean, I guess you do have some angular areas around here, but. I don't know, something about the angular hole, even, I don't know, it's fine. I don't really know what I'm getting at. It just kind of seems too big. Um, it's kind of just screaming at you like, hey, I'm a lanyard hole, look at me. It seems to be a really big feature on the knife. Um, it kind of helps in that it digs down in your hand a little bit when you are deploying the knife. So a little bit of purchase there, which is nice. Um, but I just feel like this is a little overzealous. Now, I'm sure there are people that use lanyards that feel differently, that are pretty stoked about that. Um, and, you know, I think anybody that's uh, spent some time in the knife community realizes at this point that the whole lanyard hole argument really just depends on whether or not you use lanyards. And the people who don't think that they're annoying and the people who do think that they're great 
And so this is just something to consider when you're purchasing the knife, um, but it really boils down to personal preference. One bummer that I do have that I haven't really seen on other Wien eyes is if I try to get real close here, the backspacer is not flush with the frame of the knife. Uh, I don't know if you can see the frame is closer to the backspacer on this side than it is on this side. I think you can particularly see it up towards the top, but if you get the knife in your hand um, and you're able to actually see the subtle amount of life, uh, sorry, light coming up through the backspacer, um, it's, it's definitely not flush. Like on this side, you can't see any light. And on this side, like I can see the color transition from uh, my black keyboard to the wood um, cutting board that I have here. So that's definitely a bummer for me. Um, you know, I, I generally see better quality on Wii knives. Not that that's going to be like a major issue. Um, but going back to the part where I said I don't really like asymmetry, the fact that these aren't lined up um, is kind of, kind of lame. Um, and who knows if that's on every single 606. It's probably not. Um, this is probably just the result of this individual knife. Um, but that's something to think about. Uh, and then in general, the only thing I really have left to say about the knife in terms of its features and flaws is that, you know, we knives are value city. At $250, this knife is absolutely fantastic. You've got the ceramic bearings, you've got awesome materials, sweet anodization, these gorgeous uh, carbon fiber inlays, despite the fact that the uh, proprietary screws kind of chew away at your fingers. Um, it feels really great in the hand. It's got excellent ergonomics. The pinch grip is sweet. Uh, your your finger kind of digs right down into this jimping that's on this curved part of the blade spine, which I really like. Um, and then they, of course, milled out this hole here that kind of gives this whole ramp a little bit more definition and a little bit more aesthetic appeal. Um, and so this thing's going to make a great slicer, super sharp out of the box. And I just really love Wii products. You know, some of them have their quality control issues. I don't know if you can see the uh, light scratch here, but it came from the factory like that. Um, so, you know, it's not going to be a perfect knife, but at $250, a lot of their $300 offerings are coming down to the $250 mark as the market picks them up. And so for $250, the titanium that you get, the amazing milling and machine work that you get, you're getting s 35 bn steel, the knives come sharp, they come with great actions. Um, it's just all Wii knives are value city. I haven't had any Wii knife to date uh, where I've said like this wasn't worth the price. You know, I can always find things that are wrong with them, but that's okay because you're not paying $1,000, you're not paying $2,000. Um, and so for the price, these are absolutely sick. I just, I have to say that. Um, so that's it for the features and flaws. In terms of story time, you know, I was just looking for another Wii and having trouble deciding. They have a really big selection now on the market. And so it can be uh, difficult for me to choose which one I'm going to pull the trigger on next. And so I was watching some reviews and everything and uh, some, some different videos and just searching around, and there were a few different ones I wanted to pull the trigger on. I'm particularly interested in, I think, the 705 um, and some of the other uh, uh, newer models that they have as well. Um, and this being an older model was something I had seen plenty of and never thought I would be really interested in it, but um, I watched the video, uh, I believe, from Walking Reviews, who I will uh, try to link to. And just in looking at the carbon fiber inlays, uh, it seemed to really offer something different than most other Wii knives. Um, you know, they all have milled titanium construction, and so I thought this was a little bit unique in having the inlays, and so that's actually the reason that I went ahead and purchased this knife as opposed to any other Wii knife that's available. Um, so those definitely put me over the edge in terms of the purchase, and then it just kind of sucks that the screws didn't work out well with uh, that design choice. Um, so this one probably won't last in my collection, but I will continue to cycle through as many Wii's that I can. Um, like I said, I love their knives. Um, I generally don't keep each one for too long just because I want to use the money to buy the next one with so many different options on the market and all of their knives being so different. It's, uh, it's something that I'm going to swap out for another Wii knife for sure. The only one that's ever going to stay in my collection, I think, is the 604. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see future videos with amazing knives that you see here, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It definitely helps. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.